Welcome back, everybody. In search of a miracle, thousands of people have flocked to a Rocky River doctor in search of spiritual and physical healing that traditional medicine has not been able to provide. People from all over the world say they are dialing up faith in a brand new way that you have to see to believe. Fox 8 News anchor Stephanie Schaefer has the story and the video. They are dialing up faith and the belief that that faith will heal them. Uh, good morning. Good morning. How are you? This morning, it's a couple in Belmont, California. Five years ago, Mary Smith's car was struck by a drunk driver. Mary and her husband, Channing, exhausted the medical community as they searched for a cure to Mary's life-altering injuries. When all hope was lost, something amazing happened. Listen carefully for a unique sound that you'll hear once the prayer begins. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, heal us physically, spiritually, and emotionally. Dr. Isam Naimi, a Catholic, says he's healed thousands of people at his office in Rocky River and at his mass prayer healings throughout our area. But now, he's using technology to heal. Suddenly, God gave us the tool. A tool that definitely came right from him. And that tool was the internet voice communication service, Skype. From the moment the doctor begins praying with Mary and Channing thousands of miles away, the sound starts. And it's not just our Fox 8 cameras that capture it. This all started just a few months ago at a prayer healing Channing held at his church in San Francisco with the doctor back here in Ohio. Oftentimes, when the person that was being prayed for, it, it would change as each person stood up for prayer. And some of the people that stood up said, this, this heartbeat or this sonar sound is matching my heartbeat. That sound, Dr. Namie says, is the Holy Spirit. And as you can hear with your own ears from a recording taken directly off the computer, each sound changes with each person. Take a listen. Next, our cameras roll as Susan Barricat of Boston dials in. She, like so many, had little hope from the medical community after being diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Really having a tough time accepting what was possibly my fate. Mary also hears the sound, but here, something different happens. Mary's legs swing in an uncontrollable pattern, something Mary says they could never do on their own. She told me there is scientific proof she is being healed during her Skype prayers with the doctor. After my first, my second MRI, you know, I was told that, um, that some of the lesions in my brain had um, disappeared and then others had, um, had significant had gotten smaller. Amazed? Dr. Namie says it all makes perfect sense. Everything in existence is a frequency. All the elements. And every element has its own specific frequency. Every molecule has its own signature frequency-wise. So when we talk about frequencies like that, that are intelligent, mm -hmm. yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Critics may say this is nothing more than mind over matter. The doctor welcomes those claims. If they say mind over matter, then it means that their minds are open to accept that eternal mind that is behind existence. So people use that argument as a negative, but it's such a hopeful thing to hear from those people. So what's the Catholic Church say about all of this? We contacted Bishop Lennon's office at the Cleveland Catholic Diocese, and they issued this statement to us. Healing, as understood by the Catholic faith, is based on the premise that prayer doesn't heal, only God heals. They go on to say that participation is based on their faith commitment and the belief that God can heal. Dr. Naimi has always insisted he is not the one healing and that God is healing through him. We also contacted Skype to ask about the heartbeat-like noise we heard during those healing sessions. They told us, quote, with optimal conditions, Skype users making video calls can achieve a crystal clear video and audio experience. In the meantime, hundreds of people like Susan in Boston and the Smiths in California say they were healed during those Skype calls and their lives will never be the same. Stephanie Schaefer, Fox 8 News, Rocky River.